Hi guys, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. You might have noticed in the last few weeks or so, I've been having quite a few issues after a recent uh, Quest update for the Quest 3, which has caused a lot of issues for me for the official Oculus Link. So I've been unable to play anything with the official Oculus Link cable. I keep getting constant disconnects, trying on Air Link as well, which has caused laggy performance. And it's not been going very well, so I've had to play a lot of VR games using my PSVR 2. Which isn't a bad thing, as the PSVR 2 is a great headset, it really is. But there are some things that are slightly different from the Quest 3 to the PSVR 2. Now, of course, if you've been having issues with your ability to link your PC to your Quest 3 to play PC VR games, then... Welcome to the club. Now, I've been trying many different options to try and find a way to get past this, and I did find one out the other day, and today I'm going to be able to put it to the test. So, let's get in, and we're going to test this on an online game, which is Aliens Fireteam Elite, and we're going to play it in online mode with other people, and see how it performs. Anyway, keep watching, and you'll see how we get on. Check your doors and corners. Cynthia's final orders were to prepare Acid Zero, the alien ship, for activation. Hello, welcome. Activated You're what? watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Fire welcome team, to a it. brand new gaming video. It's not obviously a brand new game. This is Aliens Fireteam Elite. Now, I'm playing this using UEVR and also Steam Link. Now, I've jumped into Steam Link because I've been having issues Only with linking my quest to the, the PC for VR gaming. And I've actually jumped and um, put the quest in today. This is the first time I've done a VR game on the quest for a couple of weeks. Because this, this is the best way I can get a decent, solid connection. So this is partly just a test, just to see how good the uh, quality of the connection is, as well as the, as well as the gameplay. Now I'm playing as a demolisher in Alien Fire Team Elite and the quality of this seems really good. I've, I've obviously had to um, had to hotspot okay. off my uh, mobile I, phone for a very good I connection. Didn't know anyone was even here. And it seems like a very good connection as well. But it's been a while since I've played on the Quest 3. Just purely because of how bad the link cable has been lately. And I do usually have the official Oculus Link Bible. But as I've been saying, for some reason, there's been an issue in the quality of the, the link. Oh, here we go. So, naturally, I've tried things like oh, Air Link, and now I'm trying. Better link. Well, I've tried, sorry. Oh. I've tried quite a few methods. And I've tried this one about Steam Link. And Steam Link seems pretty solid. Now, I'd like to say, I do have the official Oculus cab. Oh, shit. The official Oculus cab is usually pretty great. But for some reason, I'd say after a recent update, it's gone absolutely awful. I have no idea Clear. what that's all about. But yeah, this the one's great. Now, I'm having to play ahead. through Steam VR as my rendering method. Obviously, I'm in UE VR. Oh, and I thought, well, I'll test it in an online game. And I'll be honest, the aim in it in this fucking profile is absolutely flawless as well. It's a pretty solid experience so far with uh, Steam Link. Earth, 
Morris. Fuck. There is a the brilliant profile. Remain for calm. It. Merely a scan. Or what? Just checking if I've got dandruff, I think. Insufficient data. But it appears you passed. Alright, how can we stop this thing? Options, people. Cynthia's remnants are likely to have a control center. Yeah, this is this is pretty flawless. This is this is probably one of the best quality connections I've had in VR. It's better than Air Link, anyway, that's for sure. Why I've never used this before, I don't know. I mean, MetaLink has usually been pretty smooth with the official Oculus cable. This is pretty solid. Movement! The little bag things! Oh. It's a damn fun game, this is in VR. It's absolutely flawless the aiming is. Whoa. Something's coming. Signals fuzzy. In What is that? Ceiling, he says. Whoa! Right. Tear them to fucking pieces. Lovely, I'll have that, whatever that was. Mierda, Cynthia's team cannibalized one of their own. Yeah. The exit to the control room has been sealed. Quantum encryption. More pathogens. Secure the compartment. This is the first time I played on the Quest 3 in VR for, well, a couple of weeks actually. Since the uh, link has been really, really unstable for a little bit. Get us to so whatever it's nice to be able to find a way to get it working it back properly off. again. Or to a playable level. Uh, I just want to say, if you could not blow the ship up. Right, I think we're at a big choke point here. We're going to get loads and loads coming through. But the quality of the link as well is pretty damn good for a wireless connection. It's running really, really well. That one's dead. Who's there? Power buildup slows 50%. I do not believe the alien ship will fly again. Oh, that's a pity. I've just passed me driving we'll keep test. the garrison aboard anyway. Things half alive. Be just our luck if it heals itself, too. Thank you for not blowing it up. There is so much we could learn here. Okay, well, that mission's complete. That was 
pretty much just really a test for me because I wanted to see if I've got a decent way of linking the Quest back to the PC again and using Hotspot on my mobile phone to get a very solid internet connection and of course using Steam Link has made this an absolutely uh, perfectly solid VR experience on the Quest 3 so if you have been having problems with your Quest 3 with a link cable and finding air links a bit unreliable which I find it's unreliable especially after the last couple of weeks there's always Steam Link and there you go as you can see it looks like I've kicked ass on the damage table anyway this was just a quick test now I have put out a video of this quite recently this one was obviously a lot more successful and uh, well it's an alien game and we know what's coming soon in the next month or so it's alien isolation with a full six off VR mod so anyway before that comes out we're gonna chuck out bits and bobs of alien content there's a couple of other games of alien we can play in VR so look out for those on the channel in the coming weeks Anyway, if you do like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more VR content on the channel, please do subscribe, you'll see all the videos that get uploaded. Otherwise, if you want to make comments, put them in the usual place, I will <coughs> respond to every single comment. And as with the previous video, if you go to the Patreon page that's linked in the description, that's where you can get this profile. There are some CVARs as well, which you can incorporate in the profile. All you've got to do is just extract the CVARs, copy them from the file, and paste them into the profile. Pretty straightforward. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm off back to base to have some breakfast. We'll see you soon for the next video, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.